Diana with Stamping with Di. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Mimeograph Monday with a twist. And I'm going to be doing another online exclusive and I had a lot of you reach out to me saying that you're, you like that I'm doing that because some of these things you've missed. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So I want to welcome you. If you are new, please subscribe and click the bell, and then um, you should get an email when I go, um, when I upload a video, um, when I go live, or whatever, and then you don't miss anything. So I am in the chat room during the um, video presentation or the premiere. And so if you have any questions, hop on over to the chat and that's where I'll be. If you're watching a replay, then just comment below and then um, YouTube will let me know when I can reach out to you. So the supply list for today uh, will be underneath the video. Sometimes I'm not able to put a supply list um, because I might show something that's not like live yet. So I don't have um, a, the um, item code or, or whatever um, and then if you if, if there's ever anything I'm missing just holler at me so I can fix that um, but I think that's all I wanted to chat about and because um, I'm looking around my desk all right so let's get started so close your eyes for a second while I get my camera adjusted Okay, I did want to show you the cute cover for the September to December 2024 mini catalog. That's all I can show you right now. Um, so watch for these to come in your mail. I would think not for a while though, right? Because I just finished my um, catalog selector to tell Stampin' Up! who to send catalogs to. And, it, you know, it takes a little bit or whatever. Um, this is my um, demonstrator copy. And then, um, but if you don't get a copy by like September the 6th or something like that, holler at me um, if you didn't get your copy. If you think you're getting one for me. Because um, you had to have ordered 50 before tax and shipping um, since February 2024 in order to get to get one from me. So, um, so yeah. So, at least you can kind of see how cute the cover is. And then you have an idea of what to look for um, when it comes in the mail. I know I had somebody didn't realize they had their annual catalog because it didn't look like the normal Stampin' Up! catalog. So at least the mini catalog looks fairly Stampin' Up!-ish. All right, so let's see here. What are we doing today? All right, so this is the online exclusive sophisticated sled. It is so fun, and this is a card I'm going to be doing, and I don't know for sure. I'm going to just look real quick. I don't even know if uh, I'm just looking in there a little in the catalog. Hang on a minute, because some things, yeah, so it's online. Uh, because some things we could pre-order, and then I was like, oh, am I am I confused, and I'm telling you wrong? But no, this is um. A, online exclusive so this is the card I'm going to do and this actually uses um, the um, winter meadow designer series paper and this is a carryover paper and it's actually going to be part of the DSP sale and I talked about that the other day where's my flyer on a minute here's the flyer so this starts on the 6th. Um, so I made myself a note. Tell me what to order so I don't forget. Um, but this is Wintry Meadow right here. So make sure you grab that. And the 6th is Monday, which is Tuesday. All right. I should have a little... I don't know why I did my little calendar that I have my desk, but it doesn't matter. All right, so this is a designer series paper sale that starts on the 6th. And um, so, yeah, so this is where um, that winterly paper came from. All right. And I'm going to be using the stamp set, and it has this amazing coordinated die that does so many cool things. So I'm um, 
super excited to share that with you today. All right, now some of the stuff I did ahead of time, just because um, I'm doing Mimeograph Monday with a twist, and you know what that means, that means I'm doing two projects. So I did a little stuff ahead of time just to save time because um, we're doing two cards and there's lots of bits and pieces. All right, so look look at all these little bits and pieces here. Make sure I got it all out of my envelope. All right. So I'm using a basic white thick card base. Now, I have not been able to find the recipe. Somebody told me that they were online, but um, I couldn't necessarily find the online exclusive ones unless I was looking in the wrong spot. But the catalog ones are on my blog over here. Um, but I just kind of looked at it and I just kind of figured it out. If it's not perfect, I'm okay with that. All right. So this is just a basic white thick. And then these are all my little bits and bulbs here. All right. Now I cut a piece of basic white that I'm going to glue um, my designer series paper on. And this is uh, three and a half by four and three quarter because it seemed like it was a little bit <coughs> um, smaller than its normal, you know, than a, a normal layer. And then I cut these pieces so that they'll lay in here. So, all right, now these are the pieces that are going to get glued on here. And their sizes are two by three and a quarter. And then this one is one and a half by three and a quarter. That one's going to go there. This one's going to go here. And this one is going to go down here. And it is two by one and a half. That's going to go there. And then this one is one and a half by one and a half. Now, if that's not the same ones, that, that's totally fine. I'm fine if it's not quite quite the same. Um, it's, it's good enough for me. All right, but what I did was I put it on this piece of paper so it, it gives me a place to glue it for one thing and stability. Now if you wanted, you could cut um, like this, a full, like the same size as this and then just glue like these two pieces on top of it and this would just peek. But I kind of wanted it to all have that same um, layer, like um, that it would be the same height on the card. So that's why I did it this way. All right, so this just goes there. So we're just kind of covering up. You won't know that this paper, this basic white one is here. It's just basically giving me a place to glue these on. But I have, I don't think I've ever done a, um, this kind of layout before with these pieces. And it is super cute. I really like how that turned out. So I think I'll do it again. And you just kind of have to, you know, figure out, you know, the one and then see how much space you have on the other side. Let me just put my glue here since I know where I'm putting this piece. There, and now these are all flush together. Like, you know, they all have the same height where if I'd have did this solid and just glued these on, they would have sat up a little bit, so. But if you don't wanna um, fiddle fart, you know, with it, you can. All right, so there you have that all ready to go. Now I'm going to use my silicone mat because we're going to be gluing a bunch of stuff together. Now when you um, do this die, all these little bits fall out, right? Like you just have a whole bunch of little squares and triangles and stuff like that that fall out of here. 
and actually I just used one to do my little um, saying and I stamped it with the white craft and I embossed it with the white embossing powder and then I heat set it so I did do that ahead of time just to um, like I said save a little bit of time all right and this is pretty peacock look how that that pretty dye is all right now this goes over top of here so you're basically building your um, sled so I'm just going to put some glue on these here and then I'm just going to lay this over top and I want to have so I can see the brown through the holes because then it just makes it look even even better and then I'm just going to if I can see any of that glue coming through I just kind of wipe it off with my pick tool all right so look how cute that sled is now that white or the green tip glue dries clear but um I still want to just wipe it off a little bit all right then we also have the fun little um foot dealy bob whatever that is so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put my green tip glue along there. And that just goes there. But look how cute that sleigh or toboggan or whatever you call it. Sleigh, sled, toboggan. Um, it's called sled, sophisticated sled. All right. Then we want this. So I'm just going to take some green tip glue. So this card kind of has a little bit of, of motion because I'm not gluing all, all the things down like totally. All right, then this goes on here. Okay, now I'm going to kind of let this sit and dry before I mess with it anymore. So while that's drying, I'm going to do my skates. So look how cute these skates are. I mean, if this is not the cutest um, bundle, I don't know what is. All right, so I just did my blades in just silver foil. And that's just part of the die. And then my two little skates. And this is actually the um the string the laces of the skates but they were brilliant when they made this um this die because what they did was they made this die have a slit in it see that little slit so what you do is you take your laces and they slide right into that slit like that. Now you have the laces on the skate. If you don't, if you just glue them right on there, then they look like this, right? Which is not bad. If, if I did them like this, I would do them like black and white because then to me that looks more like maybe a guy's hockey skate so if you stick them in the hole like that then the laces just kind of lace up all right all right so let me stick this one in this hole and then let's put our um whatchamacallits on our blades so I'm just putting my adhesive picking it up with my pick tool so you definitely will have a good time with your pick tool for this one okay and then we'll do this one but look how fun it looks with that with that silver 
silver blade. Okay. Let that dry. All right, so while that's drying, this is probably good and dry now. So I'm gonna bring my sled over and my card. So before, I might as well just build, build it right on the card. Now this is the um, online, my version of the online one. So I didn't do anything on the inside. When I do my twist, I always put something on the inside. All right, so there's that. And then this is just gonna get dimensionaled right on there. So what I'm gonna do is I have, um, I do have my dimensions. Here we go. So these are just a foam adhesive sheets. So you can cut these like like any length you want. So instead of me cutting my dimensionals all up, I only have so many edges on my dimensionals, right? So this way I can make them be as long as I want, as skinny as I want. So definitely stick those in your shopping cart if you've not got the adhesive foam adhesive sheets or yeah foam adhesive sheets I believe that's what they're called we have sheets we have um, we've got a lot of adhesives <laughs> it's like oh my gosh I don't realize how much till you go you go and look but anyways, like, but like I said, the supply list will be below. All right, so I just peeled these off. And then I'm just going to stick it right on here like that. And look how adorable that is. All right, so let's bring our skates over. Now what I also want to do is I want to put my skates on, and they have a string. So I'm going to use... Um, some baker's twine ribbon scissors here and I'm going to tie this in a bow in the center because this bow is going to be up on top of here so I'm going to glue dot and so I just laid it on the glue dot and now I'm just going to squeeze it around that dot and then we'll put it right there and then I want these skates so the skates are going to hang on here so I need to trim because I don't want to see the strings sticking out underneath the skates okay so we've got our strings so this skate, the one that goes on the inside, I'm going to put it on with a glue dot so it's like underneath. And I put that glue dot so that it's kind of, see that it's on the laces and it's on the skate. Okay. So we're going to put our little skate right there and then this one I'm going to trim that lace a little bit more and then this one's going to stagger over top of that one so I'm going to use dimensionals for that as well so that's just gonna lay over top of that other one like that 
so cute, right? All right, and then we have our let it snow. So our let it snow is going to go right there. And I'm just going to put, let's see, do I want to put dimensionals? I do. I want that on with dimensionals too. So there's a lot of dimension on this card. So we've got our let it snow right over top of that. And then for the bling, we are using the Facetive Gems Trio Pack. And it's been a while since I used these. In fact, I had to go, I thought I had um, a pack of them in my, um, behind me where I keep all my embellishments that I've opened. And for, I could not find a pack, so I had to go to my shelf of where I keep all my unopened stuff, like kind of like my inventory kind of stuff or like classes and things. But these are so pretty. All right, but look how cute this card is. Oh my gosh. So it looks very, very close, don't you think? I think so. I think so. All right, so let's do my twist now. So let me put this off to the side. Okay. Get all my kind of clean my mess here. All right. So I added a few more things, of course, when I did my twist. So my twist, I changed the paper. I changed the designer series paper. I also did a lot of um, stamping stuff ahead of time just to save time. So you can see all my bits here. You also see that I used the stamp set because the stamp set has these cute little skates. So I wanted to use those. All right. I changed the color of my sled. I also used, oh my gosh, I didn't bring this guy over, but again, the, the um, list will be underneath. And then this is the season of green and gold designer series paper. So I used that last week, I think it was, or a couple weeks ago when I did the um, cheer, font, uh, filled with cheer card. All right, so let's put our inside because now this is my twist. So I did a little bit of something to the inside of the card. So I'm just going to put that little strip down there. I love this paper. Oh my gosh. Any kind of plaid, polka dots. I am a sucker for that kind of stuff. All right, so now I want to stamp on here. So I'm going to use Tuxedo with my greeting. So my greeting is just, I hope your days are filled with fun and laughter. And then there's the cutest little um, cardinal. And I'm just going to put him like right there, like he's sitting on the words. And I will color him in a bit, but I want him to be good and dry. All right. And then I also want to stamp on this little strip. Now, this strip is one of those that I just have on my desk all the time because when I'm cutting cardstock, when I'm cutting... Um, you know, the inside, I always get these little strips, so I just put them on my desk, and I just use them. All right, so I'm going to do yay all the way, and I'm going to stamp it in the center, kind of down, but in the center. I think that's center-ish. I think that looks pretty much in the center, and then I stamped it down a little bit. Right. 
Now, I had stamped the cute little skates ahead of time. And die cut them out because there's a die that cuts those out. And then I'm just going to glue this on here. So we've got a little layer of white behind our designer series paper. And then we're just, and I used crumb cake because I've used crumb cake for my sled wood again. Okay. It's going to go on there. But look how fun that is. That screams Christmas, doesn't it? All right. And then this is going to go on here with some dimensionals. I put one in the center just to kind of, so it doesn't sag. So I'm going to put the sled on top of here. It just kind of breaks up all the color. If I had just put it like directly on here, it would be kind of busy. I mean, you could pop it and all that, but having that little bit of white space behind there, it just kind of gives your eye a place to rest. So that's why I stuck that there. All right, so let me bring my silicone over again so we can build our sled. All right, so I need to poke out the pieces. So the little die, it does these little nail holes, but then it does here. So then you can see, um, like it makes the, the wood, the wood slats or whatever of the sleigh. So it's brilliant. It is a very, very brilliant die. I mean, they thought of everything. I mean, the slices and the skates. I mean, come on. Someone is much smarter than me. All right. And then it goes like this. But you know what? I'm like, I even think you could kind of even go like, like this too, right? Like, like I could, I think you could even make it go like that. I like when it's been forever since I was on a sled. All right. I'll have to look online. But I'm going to do like I did the other one just in case I'm wrong. All right. Because I know when you stamp it, because there is a stamp and it does have this straighter and then that has that little bit of a curve. So, because um, there is a die that cuts that out if you stamp it. And there's a die to cut that out. There's a die to cut the bird out. This out. Like, very, very cool. All right. So let's go back to putting our sled together. So this is just Poppy Prayed. and crumb cake, just the same wood color as I used before. And again, I just want to make sure I can see that red through the holes. And then if I have any of that glue, I'm just taking it off with my pick tool if it's peeking out of there. So my hand will be a nice sticky mess on it. All right, so there's that part of the sled. And then this just makes it, I think, putting this little piece on the top. It just totally makes it. Because this, to me, almost looks like a luge sled. But this here totally is that, that foot thing. Probably is the steering, right? probably how you steered it unless you were being pulled all right so now we have our skates and I'm just going to color these with um, the blends but what is fun is you could if you wanted here's the little die that cuts out the skate you could if you wanted put them on here you can see a little bit of the black underneath but um, you know, that just kind of looks like a shadow. You know, you put that on there. Or you could put this right on here. 
so that your blades had silver. Or you could cut this and this and then just put these on the string. Like get these away totally. Um, but I just wanted to, to use them and make this card be a little bit different. So there's a few different ways that you could um, do this for sure. All right, so I'm going to take my light gray granite and I'm going to put some light gray granite on my um, blades just so I haven't forgotten about them. I'm also going to put a little light gray granite around my bird so he kind of pops off the page a little bit in there. Okay. Let's give our bird a cute little beak. So it's got a little pumpkin beak. And then because I used Poppy Parade for my sled, I wanted to put Poppy Parade somewhere. So I'm going to put, um, make our cardinal, obviously, be um, Poppy Parade. We have we get cardinals here. Now, I, not so much during the summer. It's too hot. Um, but we get them once in a while. And it's, it's so funny that, you know, the, the male is so red and then the, the girl is, is like a grayish color. But anyway, so that's just a little bit of um, poppy parade. And then I'm going to make my skates be red. Is, is there red skates? I don't know. But if I was a skater, and I remember skating as a youngster, I don't know if we ever, I can't remember... If I actually own skates, I think we just rented skates at the rink. And I don't believe I ever saw red skates. But I like to think that nowadays you could have any color skate you wanted. So my card is going to have red skates. So this is just light poppy. And then I'm going to take the dark poppy and then just add, you know, a little shadow here and there around the, the, the heel where it meets that. And in here where it would be darker where those laces are, it would be dark in there. And then the other one. So that just gives them a little... A little pop all right now if you wanted like I said you could put um, put these on but I'm just gonna leave it as it is all right now what I do want to do is I want if I can have red skates I can have polka dot skates so I'm just gonna use my gel pen and I'm gonna put polka dots on my skates because I'm a styling ice skater. But isn't that so cute? So fun. So I'm just making dots, little dots, big dots, medium dots. This just, you know, you sure wouldn't get them mixed up with anybody else's skates at the rink, would you? All right, so look how cute my little polka dot skates are. All right, so I want them to really dry. It take because I kind of um, did quite a bit of um, gel pen on there, so I want to make sure it's good and dry before I touch that, and then I'll, because then I'll smear it. All right, so let's see here. I want to put my inside of my card. Because I'm looking all over for my seal, and it's right here. If it was a snake, it would bit me. That's what Granny used to always say. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. And I don't like snakes. All right. So there is this. Now we're going to put our sled on here okay. 
Mm -hmm. Where's my greeting? So I'm gonna, because I just want to see how I've got my greeting. So I want to put my greeting down here. And okay, so I need to have my sled up just a little bit. All right, so let's do these strips again. So this just makes it really nice and secure, all right? And less little tiny circles of dimensionals all over the house. Now you have nice long strips of dimensional backings. Because basically that's what these are. This is just like a dimensional. They just haven't cut it. They just have not cut all the little um, stop signs on it. Okay, and then this goes here. Okay, so let me bring my toboggan over. I'm going to put this up here. Like that. So fun. Oh my gosh. I just love all the dimension. Like look at how that card just has all that dimension going on. So cool. All right. And then we have our yay all the way. That's going to go right up like that underneath there. So I'm going to put dimensionals on the side here because it's going to lay across this. So I just want to stick it up there like that. Oops, hang on a minute. There we go. Not straight. I think that looks pretty straight. So we've got yay all the way. Now our skates should be good and dry by then. Oh, oh my gosh, you are so cute. All right, so I'm going to stick this on here. So I'm going to put dimensionals. I want to cut one and a quarter, though, up here. So it's just a little bit smaller. And then we'll stick this on. So this one has lots of dimensionals going on too. But is it that adorable? All right, now we have to put some bling on. So I changed my bling, and these are the Cherry Cobbler and Pearl Adhesive Fact Berries. Now, these are, I believe, an online exclusive as well. Um, but again, remember I could pre-order. So I'm, I'm always like, if, if you're not sure, just put an item code in and if you can order, it will come up. If not, it will um, not let you, or holler at me, but I will put the uh, um, list down below. All right, so these come, they're really fun, right? So you've got um, white berries and then the, um, they're like pearl um, or the cherry cobbler. But I, they go perfectly well with the um, puppy parade. So I'm just going to go one, two, and three. Just so I have a, another little pop of red on my card. But look how cute. And I could see I need to add, because what happened is I did my white, my little circles too soon. Like my um, blends weren't all the way dry. So I'll go back in and and add a little bit more on top of some of them but so anyway all right so let me show you this is the catalog version push all this stuff away so this is the catalog version love it and then this 
is the twist. So this one with the red skates, kind of, they almost remind me more of like old fashioned skates, maybe. Um, you know, because maybe then they were like different colors when they were like old fashioned. But anyways, so there we go. Um, I probably could have, I mean, if, if I were to do this card, just me, myself, and I, I would take my gray granite. Let me show you. I would take my gray granite and I would put a little gray Let me just show you and then this goes on here so see defines that skate a little bit by putting that little bit of gray granite on it. So see what I mean? You can see. So these kind of um, get, to me, they kind of get lost a little bit because they're together. But if you have that little bit of gray granite just on the edges, it would just um, add that little bit of um, dimension to them. But I'm just keeping it as is because that's how the, the catalog one was and they're super cute either way all right so let me say see you later alligator so tomorrow will be my teach me tuesdays oh, i have to look it up episode i can't remember but we're getting up there so um hopefully you'll come back and join me that will be three o'clock arizona time same time same channel so let me know what you think. Let me know if, if you got this um, stamp set. Don't forget if you have um, bonus uh, coupons to make sure you use them this month as well. All right, so I'm going to stop blabbing. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye for now.